I'm at Earl's place. Earl's a friend of mine that deals in a lot of junk, secondhand, antiques, that sort of stuff. Um, that's his old car sitting over there. Uh, his father-in-law owned it first, but Earl's taking care of it. Uh, it's pretty cool with the Lincoln Hall and the trailer. It's pretty cool. It's Earl's truck that he built. Built it fairly quick. He's got a 34 sitting there. Earl does, deals in some good stuff and some, does a little bit of everything is what he does, and that's what he's good at. Got a couple of Harley Davidsons, I see. He's got a little store going on in here. He has some knickknacks and paddy wax and that sort of stuff. I think his father originally was an antique dealer. And we'll go and see Earl. We're gonna go and see Earl. Knock, knock. Hey. hey. Wow, you're packing her up, man. Oh. Holy smokes. This is Earl. He's the antique hey. junk man, the collector guy. He always gets the good deals. Don't you, Earl? Well, I'll try to. What'd you do with that Woody that you got? Oh, it's so bad. That was something else, isn't it? Where'd, yep. you, where'd you pick that up at? In, um, Cornwall. Cornwall. This, Digby? No, just this side of Blockhouse. Okay. I'm so sure. Is it a real one? Like it's real? No, somebody made it years ago. But oh, okay. it's an old build. Like it's. All right. I'm going to redo it and make a hot rod out of it. Okay. Hopefully. Got square lights down there, a couple pressure gauges. Picked up. No, I never knew this. Aunt I've Jemima. seen lots of Aunt Jemima, and that's got Aunt Jemima wrote on it. Yeah. Uncle Moses. I, I didn't know. Uncle I did. Mose. Uncle, I, I, yeah, I, I, I didn't know until I seen it written on the back of them. Salt pretty, and pepper shakers. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, they are. I think I might even still have mine. Do you mind if we just look around, Earl? Nope. Not at all. Not at all. He says 1964. Look at these little, did you ever have those? What they came they? on tobacco, plugs of tobacco. Are you serious? Rosebud, or it says Rosebud. There's come Black on. Bass, there's Micmac. And they're, come on, there's they come on uh, oil? Thing. No, tobacco. Tobacco. Plug of tobacco. Sorry about that. But. All right, I'm going in for a minute. I'm, I'm going, going in. in for a minute. If it helps, you can turn lights on as you go by them. No, I, I can see just as good in the daylight as the dark. <laughs> I, I'm at that age where my eyesight's going. I am. Look at that, a bunch yeah. of carburetors. A couple of SUs. Cool. They did panoramic pictures way back. I picked up something, you know... Was it Ken Webb? Do I know Ken Webb? Yeah. From, nah. from, uh, don't know if I do or if I don't. We get a makeup thing here. Is this a makeup thing? No, it's out of a theater actually. It holds the okay. movie poster. Okay. And it's got lights all the way around Light, it. And the lights can zoom around it. That's cool. But it's, it's already gone. It's already gone. Yeah. Damn it. But Ken brought these off to me this morning. The Toy Man. Have you seen that one before? I have not. Is it all the same one? Yeah. And this is a jar full of... Well, these are all cool. challengers, but they're half toy men. Uh, just one I've been collecting. Okay. I like that Hot Wheels. It's Isn't nice. That nice? It is nice. And there's different... There's different... You know, different. almost the same, but different colors. Yeah. Collect the, you collect the, what, the, the, what you call it, too, don't you? Look at this now, would you? <laughs> he's, he's collecting them now, too. Oh, these? Yeah, I got 43 of them now so far. These are, I don't know, I got a bunch more in the cabinet. But I was excited to get three of them all at one shot. He bought them at the flea market. There was, must have been in Halifax last weekend. Okay. I seen he posted them on, on his set, on his Facebook, and I... Uh, you got right after and said you wanted yeah. them? Yeah, <laughs> I put my name on those. Those are cool. I found uh, these. They were like tearing down a building in Greenwood. They Mud just, flaps they just for clip what? on your fender. I yeah. think just an aftermarket thing. You clip on your fender and pretty cool. I was thinking about putting them on my bike, one on the front fender and one on the back. Those are pretty cool. I probably cool. won't because I'm sure the wind would tear the hell out of them. But. Yeah. Were they rubber or leather? Yeah. Rubber. Those are cool. Huh. So I put them on the old woody wagon if I get it going. You going to wear on me, are you, baby? Would you? You want me to get moving? Got some mics down there, microphones. Nothing else interesting back here, I guess. 
All of it's interesting, or all of it. Oh, here's I, a, I, just, oh. I just got here. I thought somebody, I thought somebody stole this on me. What? I, I, I misplaced things, and I forget where I put it. <laughs> and I look for it. I thought someone was in. Oh, for is. feeler on the, for your car, yeah. yeah. It was, I had it here in amongst the junk forever. You thought someone got it. Last three or four times I was up here looking for it. I was getting madder and madder, and then I found <laughs> it this morning. <laughs> That's how it goes, man. Yep. Yeah. I got some cool license plates. I got a pair of 1969, brand new, never been, like they're open, but they're, they've never been, there's which, no. Which one's a hard one to get, 68 or 69? Somebody said 68, because that was, I forget how it was. They switched over from replacing the plate every year yeah. to putting a sticker on. And Is there was right? one year that you could only get a new plate. Maybe that was the year you could only get a new plate when you bought a new car. If you bought a new car in 68, that was the last year you could get the plate, but you only got the plate if you bought a new car. If you if you were re-registering hmm. your old car, you got a sticker. Gotcha. That's what I was told. I don't know sense. for sure. I know when a couple people were asking me about the '68, or when I couldn't find one, I thought I had a whole bunch. I found these in a in an old barn. What do you think they are? Pea shooter. No. <laughs> no. I don't think. <laughs> no way. Aren't they for tapping trees? Oh, Maple maybe. Syrup? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Then you put an end on there, and you stick that in there. You drill a hole in. Yep. That's what I think they are. For tapping trees. And that's I sold a couple of them to a father telling them that's what they were, so. <laughs> Got some gloves. Lots of stuff, I guess. Picture this one here is a pretty cool one. Upside down. See, they're all happy and going camping. Yeah. On the way home. <laughs> they're not so happy. <laughs> That's basically uh, what, what Norman Rockwell painting. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I've heard tell that guy many times. Norman Rockwell. Yeah. Lots of dishes he's painted on. I want to go back and see your car. Yeah. Oh, I see that. That's cool. I seen you put a picture up. I seen that. I know that thing. I've seen that before. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that before. Got some square lights there. Don't mind. They're not too bad. If you had something you want to Oof. retrofit, I guess maybe. Who knows? This, this now, we got, we got lawn things, tractor rides right in the middle of the day. Yep. Um, cross members for canoes, but he used to make canoes. Even in the barn, I found a bunch of these and some 18 foot clear spruce planks. Okay. Two inch planks for, I assume they're for canoes. I would never know what that was. No. Both well, like yours, one your son's. This one's mine. Yeah. I got a fur seat on it, so I got to cover it in case it rains. A fur seat. You'd have some. A possum. There's what I'm going to probably end up doing. See, the, see, that's the fifth wheel. Like I'm, I'm thinking maybe putting something like that. I'm building a cab over, putting mm -hmm. that inside in the back of a in the Merc. So I'm not sure how that. Well, this one here, here, is it going to be a shorter body? Because this one's actually yeah. for a short wheelbase track. Yes. Because see what slides ahead and back. When you're on the highway, okay. don't, when you're going down the highway, apparently you want the weight ahead. Yeah, on your on yeah, yeah. on your. But when you're going to make a sharp turn or park, you can pull the lever and it slides back to get away from your cab so you don't hit your cab. Gotcha. So there is a difference in them hitches that I, I didn't know until I got this one. Did, did you grow that beautiful flower over yeah. there? <laughs> See that beautiful flower growing? A long time ago. We got one beside the shop in the corner you made it. We yeah. stuck it in the corner. See the flower and the hubcap and the, and the leaf? I had this to Colebrook this morning. Work all right? Break down the 101. Just... Take me away. Yeah. Girl took his truck to Colebrook this morning. Got some Chevy bauxite. I got a. Hands. I drove by. Uh, you know where Miss Vicky's is in Colebrook. Yep. There was a whole row of newer Mustangs. They looked like they were going for a cruise. Yeah. And uh, a couple of them gave me a thumbs up. And I, sh I was gonna pull. I should have pulled in yeah. and asked which one was Sally. <laughs> Where's Sally? Mustangs. Might take a walk around it, baby. Look, you got his old guitar in there. I just bought that at the yard sale. What? what the guitar? Yep. This morning down in Auburn, they had a. They had a bunch of, excuse me. This thing's suicide doors and all, eh? Yeah. That, okay, you got your little pin on there so you don't make sure nothing happens. You got right that for five bucks this morning. Look at that now, would you? Um, Hawaiian, great, I think. The great Hawaiian, yeah? yeah. Where'd you That's get the nice wheel for this one? It's, uh, That's an awful small wheel for an old wheel. It's a box haul. Okay. When I was looking for a steering box, this, yeah. this style, yeah. I run into the same trouble you had. I, I just mocked it all up, turned it that way, and it steered that way. Okay. But that steering box is built 
you can take the, the cone off of one side and the cap off the other. Yeah. Switch it around, put it back together. Okay. It changed the height of the column, mm -hmm. but it, it reversed the way it steered. And cool. She travels along pretty quick. And that is your fuse box right there. Nope, that's my high and low beam headlight. Okay. And that's the only thing I got that needs a fuse, so yep. that's the only fuse I got. Cool. The Lincoln looks good with the trailer on, doesn't it? Yeah. Huh? Can't wait to go camping. They're all legal, registered, and everything. I just haven't hooked up lights on the Lincoln yet. Somebody's wishing a dream. Oh, Someday. you want to see what I bought? You got to look at this. I got. I built a frame for that probably ten years ago. Yes. And I've been waiting for. Uh, I've been slowly buying pieces for the rear suspension. Yeah. Well, I look on Facebook Marketplace the other morning. I like that Facebook Marketplace. Oh. I like that. It's way better than Kijiji. Look at this. A spring kit to transfer to to transfer from you know had a transverse spring. Yep. To convert from transverse spring to parallel springs. Yep. Look, the whole kit. The U bolts, the the pads that weld to the rear end, the whole works, all brand new. Oh wow. Two hundred bucks. I'll give you three. <laughs> that was how it 33, 34 Ford is what it's what it's for. But he bought it years ago in Bridgewater. Must be a welder welder series or something like that, is it? Yeah. Cool. Anyway, as soon as it, I was going to drive right out. I messaged him and he was going to keep it, but I, like a dumbass, I just remembered my sister lives in Bridgewater, so I called her and she went right over and got it for me, and it was okay. a friend of hers. <laughs> so that was pretty good. It's for this if we ever get at it. Fender, what's the fender for? I don't know. An old fella passed away, and a friend of mine cleaned up the door yard, and that was, he was a metal detector, or a detectorist. Mm -hmm. Detectorist? He, yeah, that's what they call him, I think. A detectorist. I got to take he, a look at uh, what you got going on here. Look at that radiator now, would you? I think it's a Model T, isn't it? I just like the round. Yeah. For the Bugatti, I like the round. That's nice. It's probably a little bit wider, wider than what yours is, Jolene, but that round part's nice, eh? Got an old bicycle in there. That, that's kind of cool. Yeah. A, a 34 Ford radiator. What's the hood off of? 34? I th no, I think it's like a 36 or 37. Because I think it, I got a 34 one inside. I think it, the, the louvers go the whole. I just pulled the hood off of 36. I don't think, I th it must be 36, 37. Maybe. Nice wheel Is, there. Did that have all the door handles on it? The, the one I have? Yeah. Door handles. Just the, the yeah, it's just got a handle like that handles. on the end of it. You yeah. got all of them? I'm not sure if I do. No, I have to take a I look. I just know somebody looking for one. They lost one just okay. the other day off of his car. I don't know what's in here. I forget. Yeah, That's pretty cool. Some old fender skirts. There's an old fella in town years ago. He's he's been long gone, hmm. but uh, what are those? 50, 60, 50s? I don't know. But they pulled a prank on him. He had an Impala or something with, and he, they they took him off. Took him off, and they just went to, to Berwick and. Mailed them back to him, right? Fish off, wouldn't be it? mad. <laughs> Nothing special. Haven't picked here. up any old um, what's uh, brand new quarters for that Woody wagon? You know the one that was down to the Audleys. Okay, the sixty. Sixty-three. Sixty. Okay. There's. Uh, they were in the back after I cleaned all the junk out of it. I found rock sills, the dog legs for between the. You found back all door. the fixings. Yep, and the rock and the quarter panels were all laying in the back. You haven't come across a. Uh, nice size anvil, yeah, have you? You've probably got a couple no, of them, have no, you? No, I have, but I've still resold them. Oh, have you? Well, this, I oh, there's go that old Dodge. I think it's a beautiful thing. Not now, would you? It was worth it just to come out and see this, man. <laughs> oh, that's and cool. I, I had these tires. And Department of Health. That's you know key. Chris that built that rat rod dually, four-door dually? I don't know him. I've seen but it, I think. Anyway, he had these. They were brand new stone the boxes, and they'll fit right on that, so. I got wheels and tires for it now, but I'm not ready to. And I had this, look at this. The back fenders are made out of oil barrels. Look at that now, would you? And I, I had these, and look at that design. That's nice. And I didn't know what they were off of, so look at the design on the visor and on the cowl, it's the same design. So I'm gonna say these are- Are you sure? God's fenders. They gotta be. Have you got two I, of them? Yeah, I got the pair. See, they're the same design right here. Look at that now, would you? <laughs> dual cow. Yeah. yeah dual Somebody's cow. Somebody's patched over patched. this one, but I'm going to put it back. I might I might do away with those. Just I'm going to do a hot rod with it. Hopefully. 
most of the hard work is woodworking. My brother-in-law is right here with a woodworking shop, so. Just straight up your alley. Yep. That's a cool old rig, man. He looks I might cool. get somebody to. I like this. I, I might like get this. somebody with that does fiberglass to do the skin them for me. Yeah, I know. Follow <laughs> the, I like this. Isn't that beautiful? That is cool. I could have sold that a few times. Look what they did with the headlights. <laughs> They're from a stove pipe. Oh vessel. my goodness! Creativity going there, isn't it? Yeah. An old stove pipe ring with a with a with a newer headlight. I got to keep going here, Earl. Got some cool bicycles. There's a couple of old ones there. I had this in, I got some patches. I started to make patches for it, but I just. You have? Like you're still. You... Yeah. It's, it starts and drives in and out. Are you serious? Yeah. Is it rotten underneath? No, not too bad. There's a hole in the floor. One of the floor pans is gone, and. and uh... How much is your metal? I just took that off. I just put brand new steel on that middle piece because it, see where the roof is really, yeah. s snow comes off of there and hits that yeah. and dented it. Okay. So it leaked in a couple spots. So you I, took this off? Yeah. Did you so, want to sell any of it? We need a couple sheets on the bottom of our shop that's bent up. Our shop's falling there a little bit. I'll okay. talk to you. Whatever. Yeah, no, we might have some. But I got more of it anyway. Okay. Me. I've seen this sitting there so many times, you know what? Yeah. And I never took value of this thing that much, but now that I no. see it sitting here, it's cold, cold and once, banging. Once you've driven it around the yard a little bit. Where would you ever find a wooden wagon of this this era? Yeah. What's it got for an engine? 289. 289. Cool. I started with the exhaust. The exhaust was falling yeah. off it, so I've got two two pipes coming down off the manifolds and I've just gone that far. I'd be interested when you when you do something with that. Yeah. If, you ever, if you ever, if you, whatever. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I think it's cool. Yeah, I haven't done anything with this yet except for just shove it back here, but I'm going to hopefully. And that's the 30 or 30? That's the 31. 31 Cabriolet. Um, no, uh, convertible, isn't yeah. it not? What's what's the other word? Roadster. Roadster. Thirty-one <laughs> Roadster. That's covered up. And some people have heard about the car down in his house. Yeah. Up, up on, on the up on barrels. Yeah. Well, it's now it's in a container. Oh wow! Well, let's go and take a look. That one's a thirty Chev. Where'd you get the white wall tires, man? Um. Don't know. Can't remember. Bought a storage unit in Halifax, actually. Did you? They were in it. There's only one, actually. I know what that is. Canoe making stuff. Good, good memory. <laughs> I was told earlier. Oh, you got a bicycle there that was on. Yeah, but see that one? This one's a solid white tire. That yeah. One's a... I like the solid white tires. What do we have here now, Earl? A 30 shave coupe. Somebody's, 30? 1930? Somebody, yeah, somebody stole the radiator out of it years ago and we, we kind of got discouraged we had it running and it'll it'll run and and uh Gwen buy it bear baby go and take a look at that bad boy we're having trouble to finding tires for the wheels yeah. so i stuck these trailer white spokes on it yeah but we bought a radiator since then so i just audley and i went down to yarmouth here that's a quite a car though isn't it red. yep like i mean for condition wise yeah and it's got really old body repairs on it which is kind of cool i wouldn't touch it i wouldn't do a thing just put it together to drive it. Just even maybe put a V8 in it, but I make it something going down the road that you can get somewhere. Right. Man, you're doing good, Earl. You got all kinds of goodies, man. Well, all kinds of goodies. Love it. You need a sprocket, huh? They were down in that mink. They, these come all over the barn in a mink farm we're tearing down. Okay. Down somewheres. Someone won some big trophies in their day. I bet you that cost some money in their day. Them trophies. The animal skin stretchers for. Well, <laughs> who's, squir who's doing squirrels? But that's a skin stretcher for a little. These things here. Yeah, Traps. Cool them. Wow. Cool old helmet, not as cool as some. But. Yeah. I, you give me a helmet. Last time I was out here, remember that? Yeah. Got the white wall. What size? And this? these, these are. You know what this is? Six inch. We need. We, we need something like that for the bike that we have. They're from a print shop, like they, they did flyers and, but these are all from the late 70s and 80s. 
I remember when I, lo when I lo lost my fight and then uh, in Halifax or in Kempfa, well, they they get, they were so happy that I lost. They bring this home to me. <laughs> they cut down the thing, the paper, and give, bring it home really? to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I got one that says it's late seventies, and I didn't even know in Kingston there was a dirt bike track. Yeah. It says uh, something about come and watch the the daring riders or the experienced riders as they maneuver the figure eight racetrack yeah so they were figure eight racing in kingston wow just you get hurt nice chassis this is a chassis the for your 34. earl's a welder by trade are you not Earl? Like well you, i guess you made that well you made that and it's got no marks on it, it looks nice 10 years ago I, i've got no uh no ambition to do no anymore? ambition well i do i do now yeah with that with that spring kit yeah i don't think that's a mustang two front end but it is it's just a doesn't matter what kind of kit it is, no. it'll work. Yep. I bought that at that swap meet in New Brunswick. Yeah. Uh, exit 474. One. There's your front wheel for your bike, brother. There it is. There it is. It's there. I'm going around. I see another truck cab. That's a uh, 46 Mercury. There's the 34 frame that I got all the dimensions off. Okay. I was going to say, I got one just as rotten as that at home, the 36. <laughs> 46. Six. Where'd this one come from, Earl? Oddly. Oh, okay. It was down in front of the garage yeah. with, uh, see when he sold the garage, he wanted to, we yeah. had to get stuff out of there. Right on. It had the Model T body on the back. How's and the young fella doing with that down there? there. Yeah, no, I think he's, he's, he's doing not okay. there he's working it, as a job yet, but he's, he's down got, there a lot. What do you got here for a motorbike, man? Forget what year it is. It's a Ducati. Well, look at that now, a Ducati. It's probably stuck by now. I should have never laid it there. My my brother wanted it quite bad, so he he decided to buy it from me. I didn't really want to sell it, but I haven't been working on it. It's stuck. Yeah. It's cool though, isn't it? Yeah. I well, hang would it. it be the Ferrari of motorcycles? I hang it. I'm not, sure. I'm not Italy? sure. I'm not sure. I'm learning Ferraris about motorcycles a little bit, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's what Jimmy needs to go along with his Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> when you get back here now. Oh, you get a drum set in the woods. I made that all out of junk. Look at this now, would you? <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's all junk, you say? <laughs> yeah. Do you go up there and bang on it? <laughs> no, you can, though. <laughs> this is quite something, Look at actually. the yeah. kick pedals. It's funny. Look at that now, would you? What do you what do you call this, Earl? I don't know. Waste of time. <laughs> See the kick pedals? They're uh, you could play it if you wanted to, but they're ball peen hammers and chainsaw. I cut a chainsaw bar in half for the for the pedals. That now, would you? <laughs> Come look, baby. I want to get you in the tick land. I was oh. going to make the, the hammer hammers for the. Uh, the kick and stool. No. I guess you could play it if you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that now, would you? You'd only ever see one of those somewhere, wouldn't you? Yeah. And they're here at Earl's. Look at the guitars you made. You were having fun. Yeah. That was the first, that was my Corona project when it, this first started. I COVID, couldn't do anything. Corona, so I wanted COVID. to go were... somewhere. So yeah. So I'm going to make a drum set. I wanted to go to a concert and I said, no, I'll make my own. Hell of it. And you get the lights all up there and everything. That's cool. And dang it, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Chassis and a half now, hey? It's my wood trailer for home. Yeah. My wood home. I go over and see your Model T here. Well, I got a frame to make a hot rod out of that if I get to it. I'm thinking about putting a V4 Wisconsin air cool engine on it. A, what? Of, you know, like it's, they come on machinery. It's just a V4 Wisconsin engine. Yeah. Air cooled. That you got, looks pretty cool. What do you cool got here? A six cylinder wood chipper? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That right now, would you? Luxury cabin, cabin cruiser. Look at that I can't now. Wait till that gets going. That taking up some of your space, is it? Yeah, I'm going to build a little machinery shed type building here. Cool. <laughs> 
Well, that's that trailer there I'm building for this to get rid How of. How you doing, guy? Hey, Big John. Big oh, John. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Kick that hurt my big toe. I gotta go over and take a look at this stuff here for a minute. Look, you got a front end there. That's 34 Ford. That's 34 Ford. That's the frame and that you have. That's the one I got from the scrapyard. It's it's about the same as my little track. It's like the axle goes out to the front. And it was destined to go to the scrap. But was it? I got it. Hmm. I've got a front whole front axle that'll fit it, like the Model T one. Yeah. That's what's in my little black truck too. So. And rings still there. Look at them rings, man. Cool. Some people just love to know you got these things here, and they got an antique home they're doing. Yeah, I've Wouldn't got. They? I bought eight of them. Anybody putting, you know, antique? Yeah. You know, an antique home would want those, would they not? I bought eight of these from a guy. Yeah. Um, of this one, that one there, and these two were given to me. But I've I've got five of them hooked up inside now. Oh, I've, you're using them yourself? Use them, yeah. Okay. I want to heat the big room eventually. Hot water, right? Hot water heat. Yeah. yeah. Wood fired. I got hot water in the shop and the floor. Electric. Electric hot water in yeah. the floor. Okay. You got yourself a little nice little David Brown. Um, it's my neighbors. <laughs> God bless them. God he lets bless. me borrow it months at a time. He hasn't. I don't know if he's mad at me or not when I don't bring it back, but. He doesn't you tell keep me. keep lending so. to you? Yep. You keep saying thank you? Yep. Gas in it when you take it back. Yep. You keep it running. Yeah. And you keep it running. Yeah. <laughs> got some fiberglass fenders over there for what? Well, I got a, a truck in there on my hoist I'm oh, working right. on for a fella. And Can I take a look? Yeah. Obviously, we're looking around. But. I got these. I did a job for a guy a month or so ago, and I got these in the deal. Those are nice wheels. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't notice one of them, the, the holes are beat out. Okay. But there's enough meat there, I can I can redo the holes. Some side pipes, like I got. Some side, side pipes. They're going on that truck that's on the hoist. Those fiberglass? Yeah. And that does that? Yeah. I'll Crazy. I'll go through that radio now. I want to get in here and take a look. <laughs> nice wall hanger there, baby. 34 Ford grill. Yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's the hood See, for 34? The hood. the hood side, the louver goes the whole way down. Yeah. Well, here's this thing I've been working on. Right on. Holy shit, Earl. Look at that, would you? Holy shit. I, I see one change I might do before you want it. Holy shit. Wow. How thick is that? That's thicker than... It's that's not thicker, but that's, is that the same as the hood on the car? No. Yeah, probably. I can see not that. Not as thick. Probably, it's somewhere. But is that know, as big as the louver is? That's it there, yeah. <laughs> but it'll it'll punch it and everything. Yeah? <laughs> they would be a lot straighter if you do a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> Look! That's where the old coat hanger come from. He had a gap going on. So he stuck a piece of stuff in there and welded it in there. So, you know. And you know why I left that there? <laughs> so people could see that. So yeah. You, sometimes you do what you got to do, right? You do what you got to do. <laughs> I could have ground that off and you didn't So that's just known. a, what's that, a piece of rubber sitting there? Yep, yeah, they, were, they were taped to the jaw. That's quite something else, Earl. But it'll, uh. That's cooler than dang it. One more thing I was going to do. I like all this. Well, when I put it together, it this would, is four inch square yeah. tube and three eighths thick wall. Yeah. I could put this down and with one finger out here, I could spread that right, I would bottom out, spread out. Wow. Wouldn't, wouldn't even touch the tin. Earl made, Earl did the other louver press that I had. I had the gear made up, I had this stuff like he had before, but he made, he made all this on the other one and did the hood hinges and all that sort of stuff. This one's way better. Because you can just shove it in and tunka, 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 tunka. And the other one, you had to let the Can jack back up to let the springs come back up to get it, right? But this one's, that's cool. I Isn't that? The wheels on it and everything? Did you ever that's see this cool. tape? I got it at Canadian Tire. It's just mask and tape, but it's, I've heard it's, of someone, it's a ruler. I've heard of someone doing, trying and going for that, yeah. You can put that on and, and use it. Yeah. And then just peel it off, throw it away, and it's, yeah. it's awesome. But I, I'm, I use it sparingly now because Canadian Tire doesn't keep it anymore in Greenwood. And I'm gotcha. down to two rolls. So. 
No, but that's friggin' awesome, man. I'm thinking, and maybe you don't care, but I was going to narrow that axle, make it so you could push it through a doorway, so you could put it in your back room, or would that matter? Listen, I got I got the, the container. I can open the door and go right in the container. Okay, we'll leave it like it is. That's crazy. This way here, you could uh, put a hitch on the tote down the road if you want to. <laughs> Louvering on the road. That is cool. Yeah. That is so cool. I'm happier than this. I don't know what to tell you. I don't think I was maybe weld a couple of hooks on the back for a coat hook or something right here. Tow it. <laughs> Nothing that you don't yeah. won't hang. And I might put a little uh, piece of pipe there, like an old engine stand would have, so you can put the handle there, so it'll go through a doorway. You're the man, Earl. You're the man. That's what it is. That's awesome. And when I, you wouldn't think. That's awesome. When I put this in afterwards, yeah. this was an afterthought. I mean, yeah. I, I, I thought I was going to have to put gussets in it or something. Yeah. But then I thought, well. No, I like that. Because it was given back here. Yeah. And when I finished welding this all in, this opening here closed down an inch and a half, pretty near two inches. Did like it? It shrunk that much after the, the heat. So everything. it's true. The heat does move. Oh, it, it oh, moved yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So all I did was just redrill these holes and lowered that yeah. to, to where it should be. I assume that's where it should be. That's cool and dang it, man. And then I thought, I thought we were going to lose a little depth here. I got this from Glenn at the, this, I got this from Glenn at the Motorcycle Museum in Newfoundland probably two years ago. Probably two years ago. There you go, Glenn, if you're watching this video, Earl has done it. Um, I, did, I realized afterwards you can take this die out and flip it around. Okay. So like a hood like this. Yeah. You got to put it in here, right? There, mm -hmm. You needed that depth, but you yeah. really didn't need it because you could turn it around and put it over here. Well, there you go. So that's what that's what really just made me decide to put this on the inside instead no, of the outside. That's cool. And dang it, man! I even like the holes that were in it. I, I punched them in with a with an iron worker. I was going to drill them, but I said no. A friend of mine's got an iron worker that. Those are punched out. It'll that's its maximum too. It'll punch a one inch hole and a half inch plate. Wow, that's a punch. Yeah. That's. Freaking awesome. I'm trying to keep the, the, the sex, drugs, and rock and roll out of my conversation, but that gave me a chubby. <laughs> I like it. I love it. It's awesome. Well, I was going to just spray bomb it flat black and put some little red and white pinstripes on it just to make it look like a rat rob. Then I thought, no, you're going to want to paint oh, it yourself. Oh, I'll do anything. Like that. That's cool and shit, paint man. Paint yourself. I'm still going to finish it like this. Yeah, that's this cool. Needs, it needs to be finished. Yeah, don't talk about sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and you're okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's what Chevy's at, 50? 50, 50 something, I don't know. I'm not up on yep. my Chevys, but it's it's going on an S10 chassis. So yep. to build cabinets and stuff. Cool. Getting shit done anyways. Got Slowly. a nice little box on the back. Yeah. He just bought another one that's the same, but it's it's got a chop top on it. It's on a four-wheel drive chassis. Okay. So after this one's done, we're going to switch that to a... Maybe just a, a straight two wheel drive chassis. I don't know what he's gonna do. I have, I have this. I know I have this emblem somewhere. I don't know where I put it. I do not know where I put that emblem, but I have it somewhere. I have it somewhere. Get all done in Morton. Cool. Get all done in Morton. And Man, I'm happy. Three more things to I'm happy. That's <laughs> cool. Oh. I do that every twice a day. What well, well, really startles me? I'm out here alone. I turn around. I see that friggin'. That band standing there. Yeah. yeah. Fuller, give me that. I was gonna make some. Some uh, I bought a plasma cutter so I can yeah. cut out the shapes and, of tin a lot yes. easier. And uh, I might make some of them. There you go. Because I got the bead roller and everything like for. You're being creative, Earl. Get out of the thicker metal and try to do some thin metal work. Just takes spot at a time. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just you got to be a little more accurate because you know I can fill a, a quarter inch gap on something with a couple of passes on this, but you're not going to do that on a fender. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's cool. That's cool and dang it. So nothing different? Just it, no, man, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm gonna I hire didn't John realize. to deliver it. What's that? I'm going to have to hire John to deliver it. Big he's John? Got, he's got a nice little, nice little trailer. Look at this. What do we got now? We got the... Look at that now. An old Chevy driving around. Yeah, but you see who's in the passenger seat? Nope. Mr. Thompson himself. Oh, there you oh. go. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And Rob. Okay, cool. He was just going to, he called me a while ago, so he was going to take him out for a drive, so. Hey, How you doing? Right? No, it's not terrible. 
and watch that soft sand out there. He's, he's in a hurry to get them, them slippers out. He wants to get out and look around. Yeah. Hey there, young fella. Some of our road trips with him are just a riot. Out on tour? We went one day and we stopped at four You're out on places. tour? Yeah. We stopped at one. Uh, there, was, oh, there was three something. guys that all had it would have been for oddly. 32 Fords. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, traveling with Oddly oh, and him. Yeah, coming up with all, some old, some of his old stories. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, and, uh, wow, that's super. Where'd you come across that? Old 45 I was early. out in Bridgewater Back helping my day. sister move her neighbor. Shirt. She's moving to a downsize. Yeah. Yeah. There was a clear garbage bag, He's and that was right against a bunch of crap. Just looking right at it. Yeah. Just poke a little hole in the bag and pull it. Yeah, I should have looked at the shirt. Texaco on it. Back in the day when you'd have Texaco. And the garage was Texaco. Oh, there you go. The garage was Texaco. He bought it from Texaco. Andy, how are you making out, buddy? Where's this crap? Is that a shirt from back in the day, Audley? Working tonight. Is that a shirt from back in the day? No. When you used to come out in the shop with Texaco on it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at that now, Well, that made for him a few years ago. Oh, Turn okay. around so you can see the back of it. Audley, Texaco. Oh, Look at that now, would you? Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. Did you? That's cool. I thought it might have been the era. You know Al Melanson? Which one? Little, little Al with the bald head. He drives us. I might 60, know him. If you anyway, made him one too because he helped me a lot on okay. different things. <gasps> made him a shirt too with his name on it. So. We're just in looking around at all the stuff. Yeah. Getting inspired. Okay. Earl did a good job on that, didn't he? Not. Did you see well, that thing yet? Yes, sir. He's doing a great job. Oh man. That, Listen, hey, look I'll at this oddly. Quite impressed, really. Quite impressed. Quite impressed. We're gonna go in and start making backs of fridges. So can, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Yeah, you get a bat in the head. <laughs> a friend of mine was in the other day. He has rentals, and they all have heat pumps. Yeah. And he's saying he wants one, something like that built to make, just cover the roof to protect the heat pumps. Yeah. And he wants to have movers in them and stuff. So. Oh, is that right? Wow. There you go. We could take the wood off my car there and louver it all up, and then yeah. that'd be really gay. <laughs> yeah. It would on that. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> oh, I think it would look good, man. Make yeah, hot rod come out in it. Well, that that Ford I got always runs hot. Maybe we'll put the louvers the other way and it'll blow all the <laughs> air into it. Yeah. Cool. It's been hot, isn't it? So if I want to, if you want, you figure out what you want for some metal. We'll message you. We, we'll need a couple. We need. I don't know how many pieces we'll need, but if you want to sell some, we back. Yeah, out. we've we got a whole bunch of short pieces. Probably what I need is probably four feet. Okay, I got a bunch of six foot six foot six. That would be probably what I need. I need a few pieces along the bottom because mm -hmm. the building had fell a little bit and bent it up. I just want to cut it off and what, put a new pieces. Is in. it double on the end or single on the end? Do you like the ribs? I'll you take a picture mean? of it and send it yeah. to you. Yep. Take a picture of it. Because this is double rib because it's two ribs on the edge, but the other stuff I have is just single. Same okay. rib all the way down the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool and shit. Very happy with it. I didn't realize the the the, the Thing was so small. The oh, I know the die. You know, know what I mean. Yours is an inch yeah, longer, three inch. Isn't it? It's three, three inch. Yeah, and that's what two. Maybe two. Two inch. But that's good, good though. Go change it up. Change it up a little bit. I like the roundness on that one better than mine. Mine goes flat and then cuts. That yeah. one's got a nice round to it. Gene Winfield. the rubber, I think. Yeah, Gene Winfield's got a welded a piece on his, and it comes to a peak. So where it has the louver. Then, mm -hmm. it, then it has a peak right here, so it goes, goes could, up like this, and then you peaks just up make again. Another die. And put in that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be kind of. That's what I can do. Cool. Well, I'm impressed. Just like, just like, buddy's head in there, looking at the old car, huh? I'll tape them in. They were taped in before, so. just so it doesn't get lost. Yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. How you doing? Not bad. I'm doing better now that Earl's nice got that all geared right up. Here. That's you cool. want that chair? Are you all right for now? Oh, okay. Oh, he's talking in. Yo, go Where? get it, Sandy. Oh, it came in Earl's the storage son. unit. Yeah. Your son? Yeah. What happened? You cut your hair off? Yeah, I cut it off. That's what happened. I saw it change or something. I remember he had long hair one time. I was going to get mine cut last night, but I 
was too late when I got there and it was too I was too tired. Be happy to have some hair to cut. I'm losing <laughs> mine. <laughs> I'm losing mine. I'm like a newborn baby, got a bald spot in the back of my head. Is that the first time you've seen that? Yes, it is. Isn't that pretty cool? That is pretty cool. That is cool. I'll show you that? what it's going to be, Rob. That Hopefully is cool. All right. Yeah. I couldn't find the shoe. Oh. There's what it's going to be. Oh, yeah? It's going to be a hot <laughs> one. That's super cool. All kinds of good stuff. See what All kinds of good stuff. stuff. Bought them online. It's plans to build yeah, we went Mustang Two Frame. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we all the, the dimensions yeah, the for to get the parts there. cut. Yeah, gathered up so good though. It's I think I'm just going to get Buddy to make a sticker of that. Yeah, and I'll stick it onto a piece of metal and I'll just There's cut a it. Trailer in. And a half. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean it's, oh, he yeah. can he can make a sticker to the proper size. Of that. Okay, yeah. getting that out of here. Like yeah. Had to make a trailer to you move the boat. He's got. There's somebody else that needs a boat. Okay, so he needs to figure out how to move that. Let's see if that hubcap fits on all these cars. Sure it does. So I'm not, I'm not so sure that that wasn't the one off it. Paid because it's putting up money. Buddy in, in uh, needed to build Jamie there in the hubcap and source, he said he's only ever had two, and he's got a million hubcaps. Never had a hubcap trailer, for that. So he, can move he said he's only boat. had two in his lifetime. Not his boat. Lincoln the hubcaps of that era. And when he's done, he'll end up with a trailer. And move to Ben. Yeah. Good deal, Earl. What's that? Make yeah. this thing here now, would you? That big boat. There's a slow rider coming. There's <laughs> a bike coming. I'm going to check this out. Well, that's badass. You're riding dirty, what? Huh? That's badass. Damn. Look at the seat. <laughs> that's badass, isn't it? Even got, it even says low rider on it. Yeah. Low rider collect collection. Collection. Low rider collection. Collection. That's what it says in it, baby. Do you want a mallet, Rob? Got it. Look at that. Look at that, just putting the hubcap on the car. Remember Earl was explaining that the hubcap was missing on the car? I thought it was lost forever. Just put it on oh, the car. I just put their No, well he bought it at a second hand store. Oh, it's alright. Shoot. Well, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Where would you, get something, where would you get something like that? Would you make you can, that? You can buy the parts enough online to build one, or you can buy one. You found that hubcap, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a lucky find. I just walked in the store, and it was looking right at me. Oh, yeah. Did he say how long he had it or anything? No, he didn't. Never asked him? I almost broke my hand getting it out of my pocket <laughs> to grab the thing so fast. <laughs> I didn't get bullets on her. Slow leak. What do you think of that bike, Oddly? That's what every young kid needs to ride around town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? Kind of built like similar to the big old room tire one. Yeah. Double cross bar and so on. Yeah. Few hundred dollars here in chrome, <laughs> chrome the frame and stuff, you know. Yeah, today's rates would be. <laughs> no, that's pretty cool. Even the whose truck's that? That fuller up in <laughs> North Hall. You just never know, do you? It's on an S10 chassis. I told you. Build cab mounts for it, so. got the stuff. I told you I got the rear spring set up for that. Yeah. Yes. The whole kit. That. That's cool. That's awesome. Springs Did you get that all. running? No, I had it whirling over by the battery, but I just didn't. It was, it's was it been too hot. I just. It's definitely disgusting. It's so pretty sluggish. Hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, we're probably going to go home. Thanks right. for all well, the I'll, entertainment. I'll message you when we're going to bring that up. Thanks for all the entertainment. The cool bike. <laughs> yeah. Where? Morden? <clears throat> Coast it down the mountain on the No. Back. No. <laughs> I'm going to. No. Just, yes, we have a few. We, oh, we okay. actually have a. A beer place come in yesterday. What's what's the Wayfair, Wayfair Ale, Society. Ale Society? It's in Port Williams there, right on the Port Williams uh, bridge. Mm -hmm. Not the mm -hmm. not the red place where the uh, Port Pub, not the Port Pub. The next one you can see where they have nice place to eat. Went there yesterday yeah. and uh, sit on the deck there, the wharf, and beautiful spot. Food was good. But he came in with some beer yesterday, and he wants to. Uh, 
I don't know. We're going to try it out and give him some advertisement. Nice. Yeah, I thought so. So you guys come in, I'll give you one. Try it. Yeah. And then you can go into Port Williams and check it out. Yeah. So I am going to drink beer today. <laughs> I'm only going to drink one, though, because it's IPA. Oh, it's a really fucking me and I'll end up looking like Big Bob <laughs> if I keep drinking if I drink that stuff. For me, yeah. yeah. You're losing weight. Well, people say that, but I don't think I am. You're losing weight, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're down an X. <laughs> down an X. Even you know, Bob, like he lo he's losing weight. Way, fuck probably days. from the last few days being so hot, you sweat it all out. <laughs> Look at this now. Someone must have showed up and you're mad at him, threw the, threw the knife at him. Just well, that's been there a long time. I just uh, handy to have a knife. A around, Bowie knife. Handy to have a knife around. That's a Rambo knife, I think, isn't it? <laughs> handy to have a knife around. Cool. So everybody knows he's got a knife around. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Among other things. Among other things. <laughs> okay. show, show me your Vice, other grip, you Vice grips. Vice grips. Vice grips. Show uh, me other knife. Which one? The one in your wallet. Oh, I forgot that was even in there. You yeah, must have seen them little... Oh. Man after my own heart, goodies. Well, look at that now, would you? You fold it up and it just gives you a little pocket knife. <laughs> I went to a concert a couple just years enough ago. To, just enough to put a hole in you. Yeah, I went to a concert, or a skin of wire. Yeah, skin of wire. I went to a concert a couple years ago and uh, I had a pocket knife, a Swiss Army knife in yeah. my pocket, brand new one. Walter, the what's his name from Nova, gave it to me. Yep. You buy enough grinding wheels. Yep, I know what you're talking and, uh, about. It's just a Walter. They took it from me at the concert, but I, this was in my wallet. Didn't even realize it was there, so I should have just asked him if I could give this. Keep, keep yeah, the wallet I want that me. other one. I'll give you this one. <laughs> yeah, it was brand new. I think I put it in my pocket two days before we left on our trip. Alrighty, that's cool. We're signing off. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. See you later. Cheers. <laughs>